Hello and welcome to a new video review, this time about the Victor Optics Continental Hunting Series 2.5 to 15 by 56. Victor Optics is a Chinese manufacturer of rifle scopes and other products and they have a lot of experience because since the foundation of the company in 2007 Victor Optics was a OEM producer which means they produced uh, products for other companies uh, but in the recent years they started to focus on their own brand and so they introduced the Continental series of rifle scopes there are tactical Continental rifle scopes but also hunting Continental rifle scopes like this one. The Continental rifle scope have the most features. They have the best optical performance and are also the most expensive rifle scopes from the entire Victor Optics product range. Now this particular scope, the Continental, has a magnification range from 2.5 to 15 and has a 56 mm objective lens diameter. This scope is made for low light use. The construction, it is very well made. It is completely made out of metal with the only rubberized part on the ocular. It is shockproof up to a caliber 338 Lapua Magnum. The entire housing is nitrogen purged which means the internals, uh, the lens, will not start to fog if you use the scope in cold environment. It is also waterproof, up to uh, one meter of depth for 13 minutes. It is very lightweight with 670 grams uh, and with 370 millimeters pretty much it is a pretty much average length if you compare it to other rifle scope with a similar uh, magnification and objective lens diameter. The scope features a 30 mm main tube and has an adjustable parallax, illumination and capped turrets. As I said, the scope is made in China and it has a 15 years warranty. The reticle is positioned in the second focal plane, which means the reticle will not change the dimensions or get bigger or smaller when you change the magnification. There are two variations available, the German 4 which is one of the most popular uh, reticles in Europe. And the second one is a BDC reticle. Both have a dot in the middle, which can be illuminated with six intensity settings, which are on this turret. Between each setting is a off position all the brightness levels are only designed for use in lower light conditions, so they are not daytime bright. On the same turret is the battery compartment, which is located under this cap. Also the parallax adjustment is on the same turret, which is really nicely made. It goes from 10 yards all the way to infinity and up to 200 meters or yards the parallax adjustment is very precise because you have much room or much space for perfect or for the most precise adjustment above 200 meters or yards is not, not so much space anymore so you have to be a little bit more delicate and make small move moves for the adjustment. 
all the moving parts on the scope are really smooth. So the ocular has a really nice feel. The same is with the magnification ring. It goes from the smallest to the biggest magnification in about 180 degree. It is very grippy and it's perfectly made for usage with gloves. Why I mean with gloves? Uh, because these edges are a bit sharp and in my opinion without uh, if you use the scope without gloves they are a little bit too sharp. The objective diameters, uh, diameter is 64 millimeters which is the dimension you will need if you want to put on the scope some night vision or thermal attachment. Then the turrets both are kept under this cap are identical turrets the clicks are in quarter MOA per click and in one revolution you get exactly 15 MOA of elevation the entire Elevation range and also the windage range is 110 MOA. The elevation uh, turret and also the windage turret both are multi turn turrets. So you can go multiple revolutions in each direction. Uh, when you have to zero the scope on the range, you just make the adjustment, leave the scope and go back to zero and click down like this you're already set and you have the zero on the front so next time you start at the zero if you have to make small adjustments the vintage turret has marks all the way to 7 moa in each direction and is also very easily adjusted to zero. Included is also a do-it-yourself elevation turret which can be easily swat, swapped with the zeroing tool. You just have to unscrew this middle part and screw this turret down. With this turret you can make your own lines for the for your personal ballistics so if you want to shoot let's say 300 meters or yards you go to your third line make the clicks and the ballist the bullet drop should be exactly as you uh, write it on the turret i find this a very interesting decision from vector optics it is also a very easy to make turret uh, for yourself but what I would I would prefer from Vector Optics if they would include some strips so you don't have to make the lines directly on the turret so if you change the bullet or let's say the producer of your ammunition and you have a different uh, ballistics you just strip the old uh, take the old strip down and make a new one if you make directly lines uh, on the turret it's uh, a bit difficult to get it down now for the optics this scope features a magnification from 2.5 to 15 with the 56 millimeters objective lens and because of the big lens diameter, the scope is mainly designed for low light use. Why? Because bigger lens capture more light than scopes with the smaller lens and because of that you get a brighter picture. 
this scope has a light transmission rate uh, rate uh, from uh, 90% and optically this scope for about 600 euros is very very good. What's really special about this scope and actually all of the scopes from the Continental series also the tactical line included is the extremely big filter view. On the smallest magnification with this scope you get 16.6 .6 meters of filter view at 100 meters. This is extremely big and can be compared to some of the most expensive rifle scopes with this magnification and is also more than some of the much more expensive rifle scopes. Also on the biggest magnification is uh, the filter view very big with 2.8 meters at 100 meters. The eye relief is 10 centimeters and the eye box is also very forgiving and very decent for a scope in this price range. Okay, so what do you get in the box? A user's manual, lens protection, a sunshade, which is very interesting for a hunting scope, a cleaning cloth, a warranty card for registering of your product, a zeroing tool, some advertising material, the do-it-yourself elevation turret and what is special about Vector Optics that they include uh, Picatinny rail mount mounts with a height of 23 millimeters. This is not often seen included with scopes and I think this is a really nice feature. And lastly, the sweet and sour part. What are the positives or what do I like about this scope? Is first of all the overall build quality. The entire scope is really well made uh, and all the parts on the scope are well machined. All the moving parts are really smooth and you have option of two very usable reticles. Then the optical quality. I am very impressed about the optical quality for a scope for 600 euros and especially the extremely big filter view which as I said can be compared to some of the most expensive rifle scopes in this magnification range. Then the included do-it-yourself turret is also a really nice addition to the scope and especially the included Picatinny rings for mounting so you don't need to purchase any additional uh, mounts. And where do I see some room for improvement. First of all on the magnification ring these edges are in my opinion a little bit too sharp. Then on the elevation turret because these are multi-turn turrets you can easily make an error of a whole turn when using these this BDC turret or in this case a do-it-yourself BDC turret because you don't know if you accidentally come to the turret in which direction you have to go back. In this case I would prefer a zero stop function uh, in, with this turret so you have only one direction in which you can go back to the zero. Then on the scope, on the tube, there is no marking 
where is your uh, zero uh, when you use this turret because of this you can easily make a few clicks left or right and it would be much easier and lastly instead of included bikini covers I would prefer flip up covers okay this was a short video review of the Vector Optics Continental Hunting Series 2.5 to 15 by 56. If you have any additional questions, click the link below. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.